Hi, it's Mayor Walter Senzik. It is Friday, April 30th. It's the last day of April. And as we head into the first weekend of May, I just want to provide a bit of a community update and start with in terms of the vaccination. So we just had a public health update at the region of Niagara and the vaccination strategy is going very well. Uh, we're up to 35% vaccination here in Niagara. We're actually leading the province in terms of the percentage of our population which is amazing to see. Uh, I myself got vaccinated on Monday, and I just wanna give a, a shout out to Sean Simpson at Simpson PharmaSave. Uh, I managed after a, a lot of um, registering and phoning around and uh, finally being able to secure one at Simpson PharmaSave. And I gotta say it was very easy to do, quick, easy in and out, um, very, very little side effects. Um, just uh, feeling a little under the weather for a bit, but bounced back, feel great, and uh, it is awesome to, to have gotten the vaccination. So the pharmacies are, are doing an outstanding job here in Niagara, as are Niagara Health and Niagara Public Health. So the Seymour Hanna is still a, a significant, significant registration site, uh, vaccination site, so there's over a thousand plus going out of there every day. Uh, the public health have clinics moving around the region. The pharmacies have their allocations that are coming from the province. And so that's why we're up at the 35% mark. Uh, you've heard that the province is, is opening up its portal to the 55 plus now. So if you're 55 plus and you're looking to sign up on the online portal to get a vaccination appointment, uh, please go and do so. Uh, we looked at the vaccination rates for the 80 plus, for the 75 plus, for the 70 plus, for the 60. And it seems like everybody in those categories are getting their appointments, getting the jabs in the arms, and that is amazing. We are in our third wave, and it continues to have a significant impact on our healthcare system. Uh, we still are seeing people pass away due to COVID. Uh, it's close to 400 people now in our community have passed away of COVID-19. And uh, it's not just the people who are passing away, it's the people who are going into the hospital system that may recover from COVID-19, but then the lasting impacts that it has on, on the body as well. So uh, these are very tenuous times, tenuous because you're starting to see a, a, a slow drop of the number of, of cases in the community, but because of how high the peak was, the impact on the healthcare system is, is at, a, a, at an all-time high. Um, our physicians and nurses and help staff are, are at a, at a point of, of exhaustion and um, so this is this is one of those times where as a community uh, coming together and supporting one another uh, making sure that we're following everything that we've been asked to do uh, to drive the numbers down the importance is breaking the chain of transmission as those vaccination numbers go up the ability for the virus to also transmit in the community gets driven down so what we learned today is that if we want to get to a full reopening of the economy, what we're looking at is a vaccination rate of above 65. So how long will it take us to get there? And that's the key. Uh, the province has announced by May 24th that the anybody, any adult in Ontario over the age of 18 will be able to get an appointment for the vaccine. It's about supply and demand. So as the supply continues to come into Canada and is dispersed into the provinces, the province is then working with all of the, the, the different agencies to be able to get the vaccinations in as quickly as possible. So if we can get those numbers into the 65% uh, range, I think based on what you're seeing from all the modeling that you'll have an opening up the economy and, and having to go back into any kind of of shutdown will be will be pretty much removed from the um, the equation as they say it comes down to that vaccination strategy so again if you're concerned about it check out public health and you can get more information you can go to the Niagara Health is the website the Niagara Hospital System website get information about if you have a hesitancy um, I can say from the people that I've talked to there have been no issues related to getting the vaccine uh, there are some minor side effects that you do are able to overcome and it's just uh, about making sure that we're protecting one another and protecting ourselves as well so i encourage you to go out and get the the vaccines as um, as they become available 
Um, so we've seen some, some of the good news. We're seeing an increase in supply. What's happening now is that the supply, some of the supply is being driven towards the hotspot areas and the significant hotspots are the Peel, Mississauga, Toronto areas. And we can't really fully open up any kind of economic activity in, in our communities until those hotspots are, are truly dealt with. And so that's why you're seeing some diversion of, of vaccines into those markets. So we're all in this together. So if some of the vaccines have to go to those areas, we have to be patient and understanding. Um, we've got to make sure that, you know, we're looking after one another here in our community. Um, we gotta, if you can support local business in any ways and means possible, start thinking about things like Mother's Day is coming up. How can you buy local, support local, support local restaurants? Uh, order in advance. Plan now this weekend for Mother's Day. So plan now to order from you know one of the amazing restaurants that we have, or gift certificates from the amazing restaurants. So you know you can order order your mom, send some food to your mom, um, or you know to 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 people to your sister or to your your aunt who's a mother. You can do that kind of stuff or you can send gift certificates drop off gift certificates for them to be able to order a dinner you know later in the week whatever it may be curbside pickup is available for businesses check out love stc it's our our economic development team has put together love stc it's a great website and it has all the different businesses in our community that have uh, goods and services that you can look at and get some great ideas for for mother's day so that's just around the corner. It's another opportunity for, for you to support our local businesses as we uh, navigate our way through what's in front of us here today. In addition to that, uh, this weekend on, on Saturday, it is Physicians Day, and it's an opportunity for us to say thank you to the doctors and physicians here in our community and for all the work that, not only what they've done over the past year, but also what they do for us individually. And you know, for those, if you have doctors in your lives, um, send him a quick note of thanks, him or her, say uh, thanks for what you've done over, over in, in all the work that you've done with, with you as an individual. Um, that touch point would be, mean a lot to the physicians as well. As well, uh, it is our 145th birthday as a city this weekend. Uh, we were incorporated 145 years ago as of Saturday. So it's, uh, if it wasn't for COVID, we'd be having a bit of a, a celebration. Unfortunately, uh, due to COVID, we won't be getting together as a community to celebrate, but I'll be posting some unique things for you to do uh, on this weekend to show your love for our community. So that'll be on a different post, uh, but follow along on uh, my channels if, if you want to see how you can show your love for our community. So these are uh, challenging times and it, it's, it's an often used phrase, but it's one of those ones that uh, make a difference for a lot of people if we really truly go out of our way to help our, 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 our neighbors or fellow citizens if we do what we can to protect our family um, we're all in we're, we're all doing what we can to protect our community and I, I understand there's people out there that are frustrated uh, you're seeing that frustration uh, being presented in, in things in our community and communities across Ontario that um, are a struggle to understand because of the, the kind of frustration that people are, are, are demonstrating. Um, but now is not the time to, to be in places of congregate settings. Um, you, know, you can exercise your, your frustrations in many different ways, uh, but doing it in places like the Cenotaph is, is not a place that uh, anybody would say that that's a a, a site to be able to go and, and do any kind of um, protesting. So, uh, for those who are thinking about doing that, maybe think uh, maybe think about something uh, more appropriate, a different way. And um, today is not the the these days are not the times to be getting together in large numbers and doing those kind of stuff. So, I just say that as a as a reminder to our community. Um, I know that a majority of, of folks here in St. Catharines are, are doing what they can to, um, to get us out of this as quickly as possible. And that's the key to this, is that if we really want the economy to open and open quickly, uh, we've got to do our part to drive the numbers down. Full stop, that's what it's all about. Uh, anything that we do to counter that, to go against what we're trying to do, um, isn't working in the, the, the full spirit of trying to get us through this together. So. I'll just say, um, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. It looks like it's gonna be so-so uh, with some rain. It gives you an opportunity to do some stuff inside with your loved ones. And um, 
looking forward to seeing some of those St. Catherine's birthday celebration messages over the course of the weekend. So until next time, take care.